<laughs> so, hello everybody! What is going on, dudes? It is Keepish Mike here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal! Last time, well, we continued slamming the Kanto gym leaders and made way here to, um, the Cinnabar Island. This time after, well, we gotta collect that rare candy, of course, and we gotta make way to take on Blaine. Unfortunately, the man's quiz uh, machines and things like that aren't uh, accessible or usable since the volcano erupted. So what we must do is we must surf out of our way to the good man himself and see what's up. Go take care of all the trainers on the way there so we shouldn't have much more to worry about. So let's just keep on following the path. Let's head on inside and let's see what Blaine's got to say. <sighs> it's unfortunate for the man, but here we go. I got Oceus up front, I believe. Yep, Oceus and Riptide. No healing, let's just go in. Wah! What? My gym and Cinnabar burned down. My fire-breathing Pokemon and I are homeless because of the volcano. Wah! But I'm back in business as a gym leader here in this cave. If you can beat me, I'll give you a badge. Ha! You better have a burn heal. Here we go. We take on gym leader Blaine. Let's not waste any moments, let's get straight to it. Blaine starts off with a Mech Cargo, the fall form of Slugma. Mech Cargo is level 45, Fire Rock type, it moves Curse, Smog, Flamethrower, and Rock Slide. The main thing this Mech Cargo is meant to do is go in with the Curse to lower its speed but raise its offense and defense. Then use Smog to hopefully poison you, or Flamethrower to um, burn you. Then use Rock Slide if uh, has a type effect in this, but other than that, shouldn't be too much to worry about. Take it down pretty smoothly, and next up is going to be Rapidash. We're going to keep Oceus in, of course. This Rapidash is level 50. It is fairly powerful and is probably one of the strongest ones we Pokemon will ever fight. Rapidash, being level 50, is a pure fire type with the moves Quick Attack, Fire Spin, Fury Attack, and Fire Blast. The main star is that Fire Blast being its strongest move. This Rapidash will probably go in with that or with Fire Spin to get constant damage every turn. Fire Blast can burn you, uh, but other than that, it'll probably go in with Fury Attack or Quick Attack if it has a type um, specific. So there we go, we ain't got much to worry about. Take it down pretty smoothly, and we are all good. Take on his final Pokemon, Magmon. Magmar is level 45, pure fire type, with the most Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, Sunny Day, and Confuse Ray. This Magmar is a threat. If you are slower than it, it will use Sunny Day, and then probably going with Thunder Punch, since Sunny Day lowers uh, water type moves and boosts fire type moves. It will also try to use Confuse Ray to prevent you from attacking it, but it shouldn't be too much to worry about unless you're keeping on par with me. There we go. Awesome. Burned out. You've earned the Volcano Badge. We get our money, we get a move on. We are the Volcano Badge, we are all set. Boom, just like that. I did lose this time. But, I'm going to win the next time. When I rebuild my Cinnabar Gym, we'll have to re have a rematch. Let's talk with the... The guy. The, uh... Gym Helper, whatever his name is. Huh? It's over already. Sorry, sorry. Cinnabar Gym was gone, so I didn't know where to find you. But hey, you're plenty strong even without my advice. I knew you'd win. Thanks for that. Let's go ahead and let's grab, let's hop onto Kapora. Let's fly over to Viridian, where we have our final gym challenge to take on. But of course, before we do that, we're going to heal, we're going to get our party ready, and we're going to want to do a little bit of a uh, team shuffle. Because I definitely want to give Blue a run for his money. Ugh. Thank you for waiting. Your Pokemon are fully healed. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and let's uh, cycle up everybody. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to make too many changes. I think this is really what we're going to start off with. No! Be there. I think Oceus and Riptide are really going to be the main leads of this fight. Kind of just like with Lance. So, that's interesting enough. But before we take on him, we want to check this place. It's the Trainer House. The club for top trainer battles. Head on inside. We talk with this girl. See what she's got to say. Welcome to the trainer house, the newest and most happening place in Viridian. We're open to trainers only. You can battle against the best of the best right downstairs. Upon doing this, you will only have one battle per day. You can only take on one trainer. 
if you have used the uh, mystery gift function, you will face the last trainer that you fought uh, items and moves and everything the same. However, if you have not used the mystery gift function, you will fight someone different. Hi, welcome to our training hall. You may battle a trainer once per day. Cal is your opponent today. Would you like to battle? Hold on. Sorry, only those trainers who will be battling are allowed to go in. Okay, Cal. Cal, Cal, Cal. I already know what you do, I already know how you rock. Just debating on who to start off with. Uh... I know I'm like taking time, I don't have that much time available. Uh, let's see. Who are we starting off with? I guess really going with Kapora as my best. And then it'll be these few to handle the rest. My main three lead. Here we go. Let's take on Cal. Yep, yep, yep. Battle once per day. Cal is your opponent today. Would you like to battle? Yes, please go right through. You may begin oh right God, away. We step forward. We take on our lookalike. The trouble out here, just so I could battle. We take on Cal. He is the automatic and original trainer you will fight. The same sprite as you. Cal. He starts off with a Meganium. Level 50, pure grass type, with the moves, poison powder, synthesis, body slam, and light screen. This guy has all three Johto starters on his team. Those are his only three Johto um, those are his only three Pokemon. If you have used the mystery gift function, you will fight both the trainers that you have encountered previously. However, since I haven't used it, you, um, I will be fighting Cal. Cal shouldn't be too much of a worry though. He should be fairly easy to take on as long as you're playing it smart and playing it safe. Then, you know, I do synthesis, of course. Ugh, it's only going to be an one of the few annoying things. Let's go on and see fly. Hopefully, do more damage. Come on, Kapora. Here we go. Super effective. You need body slam. It's just going to keep doing the back and forth thing, isn't it? He's fly again. Damn it. Stop! I don't have time for this! Come on, get a critical. Light screen fell, I was wore off thankfully. Let's fly, see if this does any more. Eh, not that whole much more. It's gonna use body slam. It's getting more damage off on me than I am on it, which is unfortunate. Let's use confusion, let's see if that does any more damage. There we go. No, not anymore. Synthesis, of course. Do, 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 do. Gain health, it's fine. Let's just go with fly, just to avoid any damage. Use body slam, of course. Swing at it, fly. Come on. Okay. Use body slam, alright, I think we should be fine. And then let's just use confusion to wrap this up. My gosh, the game is probably one of the more annoying ones. Boom, down it goes. <clears throat> Let's see who's next. Next up is gonna be Typhlosion. I'm gonna go in with Riptide, of course. Typhlosion is also level 50, pure fire type, with moves Ember, Quick Attack, Swift, and Flame Wheel. <sighs> this Typhlosion shouldn't be too much to worry about. It's not armed with Thunder Punch, which the movie can learn. So, you shouldn't be struggling or having too much difficulty with it. There we go. Boom. Down it goes with one clean hit, thankfully. We see who's next, who's next, who's next, who's next. Next up, of course, is gonna be our starter against his. Well, not our starter, but uh, you get the gif. The gif. It is a Feraligator, also level 50 pure water type, with whose bite, scary face, slash, and screech. Interesting combination of moves, but it shouldn't be too much to worry about as long as you have an electric type or a grass type. You can take care of this for alligator pretty easily. Boom. Did it with a spark. It's gonna use scary face probably, or it's gonna use screech either or, lower my defense or my speed. Let's just use a spark once more, and that should handle this. Boom. Down goes Cal, and things are looking pretty good. You can challenge this once every day. So, kind of do keep it in mind and try to play it safe when you can. I lost. Darn. Yeah. There you go. Cal was defeated and we ain't got much else to worry about. Okay, we got a call from Anthony again. I don't 
here. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, cool, thank you. Nice, Anthony. Okay, let's get out of here. Took care of the one trainer, and now we have one more to take on. Let's go ahead and let's head off to the gym and let's take on Blue. <sighs> See what Blue's got to say. Can't take this way, of course. Head down here. There we go. There are no trainers. There's really no one to worry about. All that we can do is take on Blue and then all his power. Let's go ahead and let's swap um, Ocious there. And then let's swap Europa. Use a potion real quick to heal up. Um, oh my god, I love this Heal up uh, Kipura. There we go. Let's give this all we got. Let's see how well we do. Put ourselves to the test. Let's go on, let's save the game. Whew, here we go. <sighs> what up, Blue? Yo! Finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. <laughs> You're telling me you conquered all the gyms in Johto? Heh, <laughs> Johto's gyms must be pretty pathetic then. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're good or not if by battling you right now. Ready, Johto champ? Here we go. We got a match with Blue. We get this wonderful music back from Red, Blue, and Yellow. Here we go. He starts off with his signature Pidgeot, level 56. Normal flying type with moves quick attack, whirlwind, pit, wing, wing attack, and mirror move. The main thing this Pidgeot's gonna do is probably going with uh, whirlwind if it doesn't like the type matchup, going with wing attack or quick attack depending on its speed or uh, type effectiveness, and then use mirror move if it's, a, if it's a hit by a move that's um, special and super effective against it. Fortunately, Oceus takes it down in one click hit, thanks both for the critical, and we are all good. Who's next? Next up is gonna be. His Executor. Alright, he's going in with that. That quickly. I think... My best bet would probably be... Kepora. He's going with Kepora. Executor is level 58. Grass Psychic type with the move Sunny Day, Leech Seed, Egg Bomb, and Solar Beam. Whew. This Executor main tactic is really to set up a Sunny Day if it can. Go with Leech Seed to get... Uh, constant health sap from you, going with Egg Bomb for constant damage, and Solar Beam once Sunny Day is set up, just so that way you can take care of any Pokemon that it's strung against fairly quickly. We got a critical hit, making our job so much easier. It's gonna use Egg Bomb, which is gonna have a very slow animation, but it's gonna do a good amount of damage, unfortunately. Lower your voice! Sorry about that. My little brother, when he plays video games, he tends to scream everywhere. <sighs> Uh, it's gonna use a damn full restore as expected of a gym leader, or as expected of blue at least. Go ahead, let's just use fly, do some good damage. It's not gonna do nearly as much as it did the first time, but it will do a good amount. Barely getting it to just above half, which is unfortunate. Egg bomb miss, let's use fly once more. Let's just avoid any damage as possible. There we go. Hit it hard. Uh, now would be a good time for a critical. Egg bomb, it's gonna miss again. We're just gonna use confusion. Let's use another full restore. Ugh. That's blue for us, unfortunately. Let's use confusion, do some good damage. Hopefully, probably should have gone in with someone else, but I just wanted to get better damage and have a chance for everyone to show up in this battle. Use egg bomb, use fly, boom. Bam, Leech Seed. I was not looking forward to that. I was hoping to avoid that, but it's fine. I'm gonna fly up high. It's gonna sap some of my health, making this battle even harder for no reason. There we go. Do some good damage. And nearly take it down, just like I hoped. Recover some health. Just use Egg Bomb. Come on. Come on, come on, we can do this, come on Kefora. Oh my gosh, no, there's no way. I have to heal. I don't want to heal, but I gotta heal. Let's go with the full restore, just to make sure that Kefora gets enough health. 
<sighs> Fortunately, leech seed only works, I believe. Never mind. I thought it was the other way around. I thought it was like uh, later generations where. Oh no, I thought it was uh, like when you use an item, it doesn't affect you, but never mind. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 it's your stupid egg bomb. Come on, fly. Please, take care of it. You're taking more and more damage. You can't be doing this. Come on, Kepora. This is, of course, going to be one of our difficult, more difficult battles. You can only hope we do well enough. We can use Leech Seed, or it's going to get seeded. And it's charging up for Solar Beam. Okay, he's really going in. He's really trying to end this. Alright, let's just fly. Avoid the attack. And hopefully do enough with this fly. Solar Beam, which miss. Hit with fly. Come on, Kepora. Yes! Thank you. My gosh. It took way longer than that should have, but that's fine. Took it down. We got nothing else to worry about. Next up is going to be Rhydon. Holy crap, we're barely on his third Pokemon. My god, that's kind of upsetting. Rhydon! Huh. Level 56. Ground Rock type with moves Fury Attack, Sandstorm, Rock Slide, Earthquake. Main thing that this Rhydon is going to go for is probably start off with the Sandstorm, just so that way everything that isn't a ground type will be affected by it. Use EQ and Rock Slide for type effectiveness or constant damage. Then go with Fury Attack if you are low enough to get a KO. But we are in the clear. We ain't got much to worry about. It should be smooth sailing from here on out. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Who's next? Next up is going to be Alakazam. Uh, going to go on with Europa for this because I feel like Europa is a safer bet. Alakazam is level 54, pure psychic type, and it was disable, recover, psychic, reflect. The main thing that this Alakazam is going to go for is set up a reflect, probably. Going with disable just to prevent you from using any moves that are super effective against it in the next turn if it lives. Use recover if it's low in health, and then going with psychic for tremendous amounts of damage. I got lucky, unlucky, and he hit me with a damn critical, which kind of sucks. Damn it, I was hoping to not get KO'd like that. It's fine though, it's going with Heracles. See if Heracles can do something about this. I know that you are weak against it being part psychic or being part um, fighting, but I want to chance it and say that Heracles can't manage. Yeesh, it's going to be a hard manage from here on out. And of course, you went with disabled. Like I called. Horn attack. No, we're not living this. Damn it. Okay, well, I knew this was going to be a difficult fight, and I knew this was going to make quite the challenge for us, so that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and special defense down, which is unfortunate. Use Reflect just to get off some damage. Use Horn Attack once more. I was hoping to get every Pokemon a star in this battle, but not so much. I guess I just gotta go with Pokemon that are type effective. So come on, Riptide, come on out. You have a uh, Dark Time move still armed on you, thankfully. Let's go ahead and use Bite. It's gonna use Psychic. Should be fine. Come on. Please stop. Please. No. Don't tell me you got another critical. You got another critical? Really? Game. Come on. Now you're just pulling my leg here. That's so mean. No. Fuck. Okay. I gotta use a max revive. I don't like using these because I, I have not been forced to use one, but I gotta use one now for Europa. Oh my god. Gosh, how unlucky can I get? Apparently, tremendously unlucky. Damn it. Oh well. Gonna just swing. <laughs> Be psychic. Be psychic, it's fine. Europa, or Kepora, you did what you needed to do. It's going with Europa now. Come on. Please, hit the Shadow Ball. And don't get one shot again. Come on now, Europa. I know you can do it. You're, you're powerful. You're a beefcake. See, there we go. That's what I need. Shadow Ball. Do some good damage. Do enough to KO. That's what I need. Thank you. My gosh. Who's next? Next up is gonna be Gyarados. I'm not taking chances. Let's go, Oceus. <sighs> Gyarados, or Gyarados, however you want to pronounce it. Is level 58, water flying type, 
We'll go with Twister, Hydro Pump, Rain Dance, and Hyper Beam. Main thing this Gyarados is going to go with is trying to land a Rain Dance starting it off, then go with Hydro Pump for one of its strongest moves, Hyper Beam to potentially KO, and Twister for bonus damage um, throughout the entire thing. So, we should be fine using Oceus. Got to paralyze, thankfully. It's just going with Spark again, even if he heals it. If he doesn't, we are in the clear, and we should be able to manage the rest of this. Critical hits. There we go. Point is critical, but that's fine. Oceus hits level 52. Ugh. And next up is this final Pokemon. Not a starter, but close enough. It's Arcanine. Probably a bad idea to bring out Thick, but let's give it a shot. Arcanine is level 58. Pure Fire type. It was Roar, Swift, Flamethrower, Extreme Speed. Main thing this Arcanine is going to go with is probably use Swift or Extreme Speed for constant damage. Flamethrower if it's type effective, and then use Roar if it doesn't like the type matchup. Thick is part ice, but it is also part ground, so we're going to see what happens. See how well Thick can hold on its own. Come on. Come on. No! Damn it, okay, well I gave it a shot, I was hoping Thick could manage, but I guess not. We're just gonna have to go in with Oceus and wrap this up. There we go, she's Waterfall. She's extreme speed because it knows it can't do much else. And that should basically do it. There we go, got, got a critical, of course. She's used Waterfall. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh no, I don't like this. I already, I don't like this. Come on, Riptide. I'm healing you up just as a precautionary. I know I don't like doing this. I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm still going to do it anyways. Because, gosh dang it, I, I don't want to chance it. Extreme speed, that's going to do tons of damage again. Because you got a critical. Uh, probably should have attacked, but that's fine. Oh, since he did your work. He did good. Thank you for your service. There we go. Next up, let's just go with Europa, see if Europa can do anything about this. Let's go ahead and let's use Body Slam. There we go. There we go. Down goes Arcanine, and we're all good. <sighs> Pointless revive, but I don't care. It was worth it. What? How the heck did I lose to you? Alright, here. Take this. It's the Earth Badge. Get our money, and we get on out of here. Ah, oh, thank goodness. All right, I was wrong. You are the real deal. You are a good, a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Whew, there we go. All we have left is really just to head off to go see Professor Oak after collecting all our badges. I want this video to be a little longer because, well, after this, there's going to be quite a bit of uh, detouring. Go pay a visit to Professor Oak and see what he's got to say. Wow, that's excellent. You collected the the badges of gyms in Kanto. Well done. I was right in my assessment of you. T tell you what, Isaac. I'll make an arrangement so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's, so da it's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your case. Go up to the Indigo League. You can reach Mount Silver from there. And he's just going to read our Pokedex and see how bad we're doing. Yeah, you're getting good at this, but you have a long way to go. Ba 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 ba. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whew. Let's go on. Let's fly back to Feridian. Because there's really no uh, easier way to access um, Mount Silver than to go uh, east of Viridian. Let's heal up because we definitely need it. Very much. Doo, 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 doo. Thank you for that. I don't think I need to worry about Pokemon. Just hop on our bike. Let's get moving. I know this is the first time in a while that I've actually used my bike consistently in a video, but hey, it'll be fine. Just run across here. Run through here. There you go. They're gonna sit there and mess it up, but I'm sad. So right along here, and we see the path is open. We're now on Route 28. You hear that tremendous booming music? 
we have not very many new encounters, just a lot of old Pokemon that we can find. Golbats, Poliwhirls, Tangelas, things of the like. Nothing new or nothing over the top and exciting to worry about. Um, I don't think there's any really rare items, so you shouldn't have much to worry about. But over here, we are over near the Silver Cave. Of course, to finish checking around Mount Silver, we need cuts. Um, but yeah, that'll pretty much be it. There really ain't much else for us to do. <sighs> All we can do is prepare to take on the final challenge. But of course, before we do that, we're going to take a little detour. And we're going to journey back around uh, Kanto or Johto a bit. We have some business to take care of in Ekritik and over by Sianwood. That'll be it for now, though. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please show me some love and support. Um, it would be much deeply appreciated, seriously. I, I love every one of you guys. Thank you guys for being here and enjoying the series with me. But yeah, that'll be it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all did enjoy. And I will, of course, be seeing all you do next time. Peace out, everybody.